Hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about J Main 2019 mathematics paper which was conducted on 9th April 2019 in the evening shift. Let's begin with the first question of this paper. Two poles standing on a horizontal ground are of heights 5 meter and 10 meters respectively. The line joining their tops makes an angle of 15 degree with the ground then the distance between the poles is simple question from height and distance let's plan the figure for this question it is given say this is horizontal ground one pole another pole and the height of the first one is given to me 5 that of second given to me 10 now question says the line joining their tops correct is making an angle of 15 degree with the horizontal like this one so we can mark here this is 15 degree right now we can also complete this one like this right now we have to find distance between the poles that is say x here so this is also x this point is clear now since this is 5 this is 10 so what is the remaining length this remaining length is clearly 5 units right simple trigonometry now we can see 5 upon x so let's start this question 5 upon x is equal to tan 15 degree what is the value of tan 15 degree it is 2 minus root 3 so x is equal to 5 upon 2 minus root 3 which can be rewritten as 5 multiplied with 2 plus root 3 after rationalization meters as given. So let us see from the given options 5 into 2 plus root 3 that is option number 1 is the correct answer. Let us move on to the second question of this paper. If the system of equations 3 equations are given has a non-trivial solution then we have to find the value of this term system of homogeneous equations has a non-trivial solution what's the condition required determinant formed by the coefficients must be zero so let's start this question when we form the determinant here using the coefficients so we have 2 3 minus 1 1 k minus 2 and the third one is 2 minus 1 1 is equal to 0. So simply solve this determinant to get the value of k. Solving it we get the value for k equals 9 by 2. Now we put the value of k back because we have to find the value of some term which is involving x, y, z and k. So let us rewrite the equations therefore equations are the first equation 2x plus 3y minus z equals 0 second equation when you write k as 9 by 2 here you will be getting equation like 2x plus 9y minus 4z is equal to 0 and the third equation you can write here 2x minus y plus z is equal to 0 say equation 1 2 and 3 this is clear now we can use equation 1 and 2 or 1 and 3 in order to get x y z values let's say i am using equation number 1 and equation number 3 so if i add 1 and 3 i can clearly see z will be cancelled i am getting 4x plus 2y is equal to 0 or 2x is equal to minus y right so the value of y you can say minus 2x substitute the value of y as minus 2x in any of the three equations let's say i put the value of y as minus 2x in equation number 1 so i'm getting here 2x minus 6x minus z is equal to 0 or z equals minus 4x right so y is minus 2x z is minus 4x therefore we can write relation for x y z 
as x upon 1 is equal to y upon minus 2 is equal to z upon minus 4. This is clear. Now, let us see what we have to find. We have to find x upon y plus y upon z plus z upon x plus k. So, let us write down. Therefore, x upon y plus y upon z plus z upon x plus k is equal to x upon y is minus half, y upon z is plus half and z upon x is minus 4 plus k is 9 by 2. This is clear. Now we can see half and half cancelled. So finally, we are left with minus 4 plus 9 by 2 giving us the required value as half. Let us see from the given options, do we have half as one of the options? Yes, it is available here as option number 1. Let us move on to the next question of this paper. Question number 3 says, if m is chosen in the quadratic equation, one equation is given such that the sum of its roots is greatest, sum of roots is greatest, fine, then the absolute difference of the cubes of its roots, let us say the roots be alpha beta. So, the question is saying find modulus of alpha cube minus beta cube. So, let us start this question. For this quadratic, sum of its roots is greatest. So, let us say alpha plus beta, this is equal to 3 upon 1 plus m square. Its greatest value will be obtained when this denominator is minimum. The minimum value will be there when m is 0. So, alpha plus beta is greatest that is maximum value when m equals 0. Right. So, let us rewrite the equation. Therefore, equation is let us see what is the equation now when you put m equals 0. It changes to x square minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. So, let us write down x square minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. Clear? Now, we have to find modulus of alpha cube minus beta cube. So, let us rewrite again. This time alpha plus beta is equal to 3 and product alpha beta is 1. Therefore, mod alpha cube minus beta cube is equal to mod alpha minus beta multiplied with alpha square plus beta square plus alpha beta. Close the modulus sign. So, this is equal to alpha minus beta can be written as square root of alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta. So, let us write down square root of alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta multiplied with. This can be rewritten as alpha plus beta whole square minus alpha beta. Close the modulus sign now. So, this is the result with us. Put the values to get the final answer. So, modulus of square root of alpha plus beta is 3, so it is 9 minus 4 multiplied with 9 minus 1. So, this gives us 8 root 5 as our required result. Let us see from the given options, 8 root 5 is there as option number 4. So, let us mark and mention it as the correct answer. Let us move on to the question number 4 of the paper.